Joe Hack is from Muskego, Wisconsin, but after high school went to Manhattan and earned his love for cake decorating in the city for 15 years. Although I warned Joe of my sweet tooth, he still invited me to meet his team and see how the chocolate raspberry bomb cake is made. This is the one that I've been making since, gosh, back when I was in New York. The week of Christmas, a four day period, we sold 80 raspberry bombs. Joe got his love for food from his mom who owned a restaurant. Why cakes? Joe said he's allergic to fish, so baking seemed to be the best fit. His first job in New York was working at a bakery in a grocery store. Lady that owned a bakery called Classic Cakes, which was kind of the big upscale bakery in New York, saw the stuff that I was doing as I was playing around and kind of, I guess, saw something in me, saw I was passionate, and she ended up paying for my culinary education and I worked for her for many, many years until I left New York. Although there are differences between life in the UP and the city, according to Joe, it may surprise many, but he hasn't had to change his cakes. The desserts appeal to Upers and New Yorkers the same. Great that Marquette has allowed me to do that, but still have the small town connection with your customers. The customers become friends and people you know, and I just fell in love with it. So this is home to me now. Cakes such as these take a team effort. The work environment is different than the big city cake operation. Joe compares their process to painting or making art. You look at kind of our, our decorated birthday cakes that are in there and you can tell which ones Jim did and you can tell which ones Lucy did because they have the high pretty fluffy roses on them. I'm more of like the abstract chocolate sculptory kind. To see more of the team's creations or get in contact with them for an event, visit our website, abc10up.com. In Marquette, I'm Lauren Lee with ABC 10 and the CW5.